Thank you all for coming to our session. Uh, well, I'm here today representing IAB Turkey to talk about redefining marketing in a digital world. The renowned British science fiction writer Arthur C. Clarke once said, any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. Well, if we look at today's world from a consumer's point of view, I think we would all agree that we are indeed living in a world of magic. However, the always connected and mobile consumer is challenged by three dynamic forces. These digital forces impact consumer purchase behavior by introducing new stages along the consumer journey, as Nikki has just in detail told us uh, in an earlier session. And by repositioning the existing stages of the decision-making process, social, local, and mobile interactions have actually allowed consumers the ability to take control of their own experiences with the brands and to share their experiences within their own social channels using, you know, check-ins, hashtags, likes, and more. According to a recent study, survey actually, marketers find it more and more difficult, as you can see from the figures, to retain their customers and building customer loyalty has become more and more challenging. They say they cannot keep up either with the new ways consumers are using technologies or they cannot keep up with all the new ways to engage with consumers. Customer segments are uh, fragmenting and make it even harder to reach consumers. And there are the effectiveness and ROI concerns for many communication channels. To complicate things even more, there is too much noise around what marketing and advertising should be. Some say marketing must be transactional and focus on single point of sale transactions, maximizing the efficiency and volume of individual sales rather than trying to establish, trying to develop a relationship with the consumers. Some say marketing must be experiential because there is a need to combine digital technology and personal experiences to effectively connect with consumers. Many, many brands are now recognizing that actual physical and emotional experiences versus just brand talk help link the offline and online world and build consumer loyalty and trust in brands. Some say advertising is and must be social. If there is no social connectivity, the message can no longer be heard now. And some say advertising must be mobile because without a connection to place, then advertising is irrelevant to the sales process. Some say advertising must be a utility. It must serve a consumer's needs, not merely inform them. Still others say advertising must be liquid. It must create experiences that cross media platform boundaries. If not, it will barely cross the consumer's attention threshold. Well, these perfect perspectives are not only divergent from each other, but also each shapes a particular way of thinking, not just about communications products, but about what advertising and marketing do. Yet there is no one fits all solution in marketing, that much we all know. And let's be honest, we need a lot of testing and a lot of learning to do to find the right track for our own brands. With so much changing in the technology and the consumer front, the marketing industry is at a constant, is a continuous learning stage. The issue is embracing this fact and not to be threatened by it, as winners are always those who see the opportunities 
instead of threats and change. One thing is certain though, advertising must be a combination of art and science today, more than ever. Today, search, mobile, social, content, e-commerce, and performance marketing are the hot topics for every CMO, as you have heard all throughout this morning. Data and technology are needed not only in order to play the game right and be the winner, but also in order to base marketing efforts on solid KPIs and to be accountable. In the light of these facts, I'd like to talk a bit about Turkey and what IAB Turkey does in order to help the industry to overcome major challenges. Well, generating industry-wide research and thought leadership is our priority in IAB Turkey. The measurement of site traffic has become a long way, has come a long way uh, since the last three years, and we are on the verge of reporting video and also mobile performances. We also invested in Mediascope last year to have a deeper understanding of the online behavior. Now, we know details like 63% of Turkish internet users watch TV online at least monthly, or 52% of Turks are online while watching TV, and much more. Sharing of best practices, as well as awarding them, is crucial for growth. This year we organized the third Mix Awards in Turkey and added a one-day conference to the event, Mix Digitalks. We also created a best cases library to provide learnings for the whole industry. Another recent global survey by MIT this time shows the top three corporate cultural barriers to digital transformation more than half of the executives, as you can see on the slide, from various industries and 106 countries say they don't have time for digital right now, or they don't know how to do this. Yet 40% say this is the way we've always done it, indicating there is still resistance for new approaches. Well, the situation is not, or at least was not, much different for Turkey. I mean, you heard Akbank this morning, and they are a dream marketer, actually, in the digital realm. Uh, I had the uh, honor of moderating uh, a group of uh, digital people, including one of uh, Akbank, and I mean, what you have done so far is really amazing but it is not the case always. So therefore, creating interest in advertisers and increasing knowledge, their knowledge about digital uh, marketing is a major priority for IAB Turkey. We cooperate with the Advertisers Association. We became a part of their um, academy program, their training programs. And uh, we even had some special digital sessions for their board of directors. Uh, the Advertisers Association in Turkey represents almost 70% of total ad spend in Turkey. So being in close contact with them really uh, makes a difference. Another challenge of the digital industry is the scarcity of the trained workforce, not only at the client side, but also at the agency and media owner side. Our training efforts for the last three years, I say for the last three years uh, constantly because that was when IAB Turkey uh, was established as a separate association, not as a platform under the advertising association anymore. Um, well, our efforts for the last three years, as I said, include best case studies because a survey we did for, uh, to understand the training needs showed us that people learn better from best cases. Uh, and we do this in association with universities and other associations like Turkish Direct Marketing Association. We are now running the third of our 10-week certification program 
and recently we signed a partnership agreement with Next Academy. That's a master's degree program at Istanbul Bilgi University. We also aim at extending our boundaries beyond Istanbul. Our first step was to train local ad agencies on digital marketing. The next steps of this project will be visiting major cities to set in touch with, uh, to get in touch with uh, the local advertisers and then start a certification, a web-based certification for program for them. Despite all the challenges of our industry, online revenues grow by 30%. The drivers of the growth here in Turkey are mainly video, mobile, and search, while Turkey still has a big display market. RTB also has the potential to be a big driver next year because it's quite new in Turkey. However, we are aware of the fact that we need standards, regulations, and legislation for this growth to be sustainable. So we instated guidelines for industry standards, launched the online behavioral advertising self-regulation framework in Turkey at the same time with the uh, European uh, Union countries, and we have continuous contacts with the local legislators. Recently, we have become uh, a board of member of IAB Europe so that we can be uh, a driver of change in our region rather than being a follower. So, we talked about the now, and now is the time for the next most frequently asked question these days. What's next? Well, technology is changing constantly, and the consumers are adapting to changes at a very, very fast pace. The tablet revolution, I think, is the most recent example of this very fact. In an environment where change is a constant, it is always hard to say what's next. But one thing is certain about what's next, and it is the consumers of the future will be far more different than us. Call them Generation Z or digital natives, the new nation the new generation has had lifelong use of communication and media technology. The oldest of them are now around 16 years old, and they are only a couple of years away from going to college and then into the workforce to earn their own money and start spending it. Soon, they will define what marketing and advertising will be about. Well, this is Ella, she is my niece, and she has just turned four yesterday. Uh, one of the youngest of her generation, she knows she can watch her favorite cartoon on YouTube, either using the laptop or the tablet at home when the kids' channels stop broadcasting in the evening. She even has a pet giraffe. She feeds on her mother's mobile phone. She prefers to Skype rather than a phone conversation. She insists on it, actually. And she already has a social media footprint created by the family members, which I think she will take over soon, as soon as she learns how to write. Another example is from a two-year-old. Uh, she is the niece of one of my colleagues. She listens to a conversation between her mom and her aunt. When a question arises during the conversation, she interferes and says, why not ask Gugu? She is too young to pronounce Google right, but she already has an idea about what it does. So, sorry. Anyways. I would say we should all get ready for them. In order to be able to do that, we will need to have experience in all aspects of digital marketing as we know it. So, start now if you haven't already done so. Thank you.